gator on the loose and swimming around this pond in Chicago. That's where this guy comes in. I love my hometown. Uh, you know, I love Orlando. I love Brevard County. A Florida gator hunter asked to come to Chicago and trap the elusive reptile and becoming a Windy City hero in the process. I got up your low profile. I am not leaving so low profile, I guess. Oh, and the pizza. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the pizza in a moment. Right yes. now, though, we are joined by Frank Robb, who caught Chance the Snapper up in Chicago. And he's joining us live on the curvy couch this morning. Uh, Great to have it you. It is so Thank good for you. Thanks for coming you know, this morning. Good morning what you did, good morning. Good to Thank see you. you but, much. you know, it's so funny because when we were in the package, what did you say? Oh, my gosh, this whole thing is so surreal. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. How so? It's, uh, you know, you're just doing your everyday job, and then you go there and the thing, everything goes the way it does. I mean, this kindness in Chicago, it was there before I ever worked this out. Mm. It, uh, it, it just spiraled into something, uh, a complete blessing, mm. really. So, Frank, take us back. For those who did not get a chance to follow the story, like we were following it here. Yes, we were. Um, so you got the call to come up and help out. There was a guy who was already staked out, right, in yes, Chicago. Yep. And, of course, the reason this is a big deal in Chicago is because they don't have alligators yep. in the wild there. Yes, ma'am. So there was a gentleman who was already basically staked out, and they said, Rob, can you come in and help? Is that right? Yeah, he had been uh, unsuccessful so far for... I think about a week or so, mm -hmm. and I actually I had been following it in the media too, and my uncle, who I learned from, we were both following it, and we've been talking about it. And uh, yeah, they called me Saturday mid morning and said, you know, can you can you get up here and help us? And I said, sure, maybe I can come up there Monday. I said, no, you can come up Sunday. And I said, okay, well I'll come up Sunday. I'll come up Sunday. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so Frank, talk to me about the takedown. How did you get <laughs> Chance the Snapper? Well, they gave us a, you know, they gave me a big map when I got there. So I took the map and I mapped everything out, and figured out the most likely places he would be. And again, all the city entities there, they all helped me work it out as far as turning lights off and uh, figuring out where things were at. And uh, we were, walked the pond probably eight or nine times that night mm -hmm. uh, until you about couldn't walk anymore and just happened to come across him and uh, made a couple of vocalizations, able to get him to come out of the, the, the not the cattails, but the uh, lily pads he was in, get him to turn around, make a cast on him and uh, walk out in the water and grabbed him, handed the fishing rod off to uh, Officer Drake that was with me mm -hmm. and went out in the water and just, we normally we put a rope or a, a catch pole on him, went out there and just grabbed him and put him up on the shore and taped him grabbed up. Grabbed him with what? My hands. Okay. Yeah, was, <laughs> not using the smartest idea. Okay. You know, and, uh, at that point, we were, we were so, we wanted it to get done so bad and when you catch a gator, you always use the term just barely. So normally if you touch one with a rope the wrong direction or something, the, the hook falls off and then you're then you're really in trouble. Yeah, so just yeah. uh, kind of went there, grabbed him, and grabbed a couple of arms and taped him up. And then a couple of grown men had a had a nice cry because it was oh, it was really it was a it was a giant uh, pressure cooker from all sides. Yeah. And I knew what I was getting myself into, but um, it was it was emotional. I mean, it was doing something good for that animal, doing something good for the city, yeah. and being able to accomplish what you were went there to do. It was. Uh, Absolute, absolute blessing. What, because if you hadn't caught him, he wouldn't have survived. I mean, the winters no. up there are harsh. The gators can't live in those kind of conditions. Any thoughts on how the gator ended up there in the first place? Um, myself and John Brugan, who runs the uh, alligator farm there in St. Augustine, we had been talking about it. If you look at his nose, his nose is kind of deformed a little bit. It's kind of bent up. And that's from John was saying being in captivity his whole life, having his nose pressed up oh. against something and his eyes being real light uh, or from being in the darkness his whole life. So he'd been in a container or in a bathtub in the dark somewhere his entire oh. life. And yeah, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have made it. Uh, and so how does it feel to now be kind of immortalized in Chicago <laughs> lore? I mean, you know, for decades and decades to come, people are going to be talking about the gator guy, right, in Chicago. I uh, made some friendships for there, uh, really made family there in five days. And who can, I mean, who can say that, you know? Everybody has this uh, conception about what the big city is. Chicago does not fit that, uh, mm -hmm. that at all. It's, their, it's an amazing city, amazing people, and again, Made, made family there and um, getting me emotional to talk about. Made family there in five days, really. It is a very friendly town. I want to reference the video that we're showing everybody. Just, this is how big of a deal that Frank <laughs> yes. is in the city of Chicago. He got to, one, turn on Buckingham Fountain, which if you've ever been to Chicago, that is the iconic fountain. And then look here. And then throw out the first. What was that like to throw out the first pitch at a Cubs game? My gosh, talk about. It was about, amazing. Well, it was tell a, us. Well, walking out there on the field, you know, all the 69 Cubs were there, so got to meet all, meet all them and uh, chat with the owner of the team and then it was just uh, 
walking out there in the field, you got all this stuff around you and all these people, you have 50,000 people around you and you kind of just sit back for a second, take it all in, like, wow. This is amazing. Like, how, who, why, this, why is this happening to me? Why not you? Know, you? <laughs> that, you're just... the Gator guy. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And I know we have to wrap, but I can't leave without asking you what happens to Chance now. Chance is now at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Uh, it's in Zoological Park. It's not an alligator farm, technically speaking. It's just there for people to go enjoy the animals. Nothing bad will ever happen to him. Uh, he's actually up front and center. And when you walk into the St. Augustine Alligator Farm, he's got a nice. Uh, Chicago music plan and Chicago pizza there <laughs> and uh, big old sign saying welcome Chance the Snapper. He's uh, he's a rock star. Um, to ask, really, I gotta ask star. you about the pizza. Okay, where did you go and Man. what did you get? I had some deep dish pizza while I was in Chicago and it was mind boggling. <laughs> yeah. My mind was officially blown. It was uh, it was unbelievable. It's blown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was blown. Yeah. Do you remember yeah. which restaurant did you go to? Do you remember uh, where they took you? Was it Lou Malnati? It was. It That's was. The best wow. Place. Oh, my it was, it was incredible. Yeah. Oh, We're so proud of you. Thank you, Thank you guys we so much. Really Frank Rob, the hero of Chicago. We've got a lot more coming up on Good Day.